gentleman come in this weekend and wanted to photograph me with this piece, and so that's what I did. I gotta get it out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna do a bust, and it's because it's easy and quick, and I can be ready for the uh, show this coming week. Um, get my drill here. I don't know if I'm gonna do an Indian or a. or a mountain man, because I'm showing a Jackson Hole, and Jackson Hole was a major gathering place for. Mountain men. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But what I'm going to do is I want to get this raised up off the uh, baseboard a bit. And so I'm thinking. Alright, this is uh, what I'm going to be working with. Now, some of you may not know where this came from. This was actually the head that I had started for uh, Captain Lovewell uh, on the uh, full figure and I had done a portrait of Lovewell um, and I took this head off the figure and put the one that I made separately like the, on this uh, form here and, uh, and I made it uh, separate from the figure and so it actually was uh, it worked out better so let's see what we can do, and uh, I'll try to get this going here. Um, oh, this is a true form uh, skull. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, uh, description below to where you can go to trueform.com and, and uh, get yourself uh, these little uh, handy armatures. This is actually a skull underneath here. I know you can't see it, but all right, I'm going to go ahead and start here and. Uh, Try to get as far as I can.
And what I'm doing is just putting some wrinkles into his forehead and uh, above his nose here. Like a boxer. <laughs> After a while, your face reflects your <laughs> your uh, cockiness. And he looks like a cocky cowboy. And see, his face will match his hat, which will be a uh, pretty beat up too. carried away with it now. But I got the basis and I cut it back where I need to. By the way, I've been asked for these. I get these little round-ended tools and it's, uh, I'll show you the tool. That's the name of the tool right there. Nice thing about uh, true form armatures, uh, you just you have it shaped already, and it's already uniformly shaped underneath, so you don't have to sit and pound on the clay to to get it uh, evened out. And all that stuff. And that's I tell you, it sure beats the crap out of sculpting the skull first, and then putting it all together. It's just perfectly aligned and everything. I like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See you next week.